Hey guys and welcome. The creator of this video has such a terrible voice so you gonna be stuck with me for the rest of this video. I'm sorry. To start I'm just gonna go in and tell you the whole story so. One day I needed to organize my pretty messy movies folder. And it was so boring to go over one movie at a time and put it in a folder and then change its name. And even if I did that manually there was still something missing. So I decided to create an application to help me organize my movies folder. And I did. And now I wanted to share it with you so. In this video I'm gonna show you how I use this application to organize my movies files in folders in Windows. To begin you should download the application and install it in any place you want. The download link should be available in the description below. After you finish installing the application you can choose any movie folder and right click on it. You should now see a menu called Movies Organizer. In it there should be four options. Just to show you what this application basically do we can choose the third option which is Update Movie Poster Console Mode. If we did. A black screen should come up. And now we have to wait until the program finished gathering the movie details. If the program finished successfully we should see a message saying. Press any key to continue. And nothing else. If the program failed to identify the movie. Or failed for any other reason. We should see a much longer message. Now the application finished successfully as you can see. And a bunch of stuff happened to our folder. First thing you will notice is that the icon of the folder has changed to be the poster image of the movie. Second thing is the folder name changed to be just the movie name followed by the movie year. Also if we were to open the details pane in Windows by going to View Then Details pane We can see a bunch of other stuff. Like the title which is the movie name The year The director the genre or genres. The rating based upon Metacritic's rating. Or IMDB rating. The language or languages. And at the end. Comments. In the comments we will find the plot of the movie written. We can also hover over the movie and a little box will appear. In it, we should also see the main plot of our movie as you can see here. The last option which is update movie poster silent mode. Does the exact same thing as the console mode option except that the silent one does it in the background with no black screens at all. And you might wonder why did I ended up adding this option. The reason why is that we can choose multiple files or folders at once. And if we were to do this with the console mode option, we would end up with a lot of black screens. One for each file or folder. And it would be a pain in the ass to have to close each and every one of them individually after they finish doing what they are doing. So. Instead we. Or rather you. Should use the silent mode. The silent mode will do all this in the background. And will close itself when it finishes. So what I would do is. If I am gonna be doing a lot of files or folders. I start by selecting them all. And you can select up to 15 movies at once. And run them in silent mode. And wait until it finishes. And this took a little longer because my internet connection is terrible right now as my brother is downloading some stupid game and I'm gonna go yell at him right now. See ya in a bit. Okay. Right so. As you probably noticed the program figured out that these things were files. And because they were files the program put them in folders and continued to do the same thing as before. And as you can see it succeeded in doing all of them. If you were doing more than just three movies. Then probably you might find one or two movies that didn't change at all. For me to see what's up with these movies I run them in console mode and look up the error message if any appeared. Most likely the application couldn't find the movie online. Which would be because the folder or file name is pretty terrible. And it couldn't extract the movie name and year from it. 
Or maybe there was no internet connection or something. So what I would do is to try and change the name of the file or folder to be something generic like for example Cold War or Cold War 2018 and it should now work. But if it didn't it's probably due to other reasons. You can read the error message and try to figure out what to do. Or watch my other video where I go by number of these errors and show you how to solve them. The link to that video should also be available in the description below. Now say after you updated one of the movies. You wanted to change something in its details. Like for instance you wanted to change the rating of the movie, A Star Is Born, from 4 starts to 1 star because it's such a terrible movie. Sadly you cannot do it from the details pane that would give you an error. Instead, right click on the movie and choose edit movie details. From here you can edit anything you want. I just want to edit the rating and leave everything as is so. I'm gonna choose the new rating and hit submit. And it says that everything worked just fine, so. I'm gonna close this from here and now we should see that it indeed changed to one star. In the same way. The first option add custom poster does exactly what it says. Let's try it out. For the poster you can choose either a.jpg or a.png file as the folder icon. So I'm gonna choose a picture now. I'm gonna choose this and hit OK. If it's successfully completed. You will see this updated successfully message but you might not see the effect immediately. But believe me it did change successfully. No way you gonna see the updated successfully message unless it did change successfully, so. What's going on? Again sadly Windows takes some time to catch up with these changes that happens to your folder. And although I do notify Windows that this folder had some changes. Windows sometimes completely ignores these notifications and you won't be able to see the changes unless you did one of the following. 1. Try doing this. Right click on your folder and hit properties. Then customize. Then change icon. Then cancel. Then OK. As you see that solved the issue right away. But if that didn't help try closing all open folder and open the folder again and see if that helps. And if the other two options failed then you would have to restart your device to see those changes take effect. Finally, after you finish updating a good chunk or all of your movies you can do some pretty neat sorting and grouping stuff. For grouping, you can go to View. Then choose Group By. Then choose Add Columns. Then choose whatever properties you want. I would choose. Director Year Genre Rating And tags Tags are just the actors that appeared in the movie, and I put them under tags because Windows sadly doesn't have an actor property. After choosing these we can hit OK and then go back to View. Group by. And choose whatever we want. So if I wanted to see the action or adventure or like animation movies that I have in my movies folder. I can choose. Group by. Genre. And now I can see these movies grouped together. Feel free to go over them one by one and see what they do. To get them back to normal we can go to Group by And choose none. Now they are back to normal. We can also sort our movies by a certain property. Descending or ascending. 
by going to view start by and I'm gonna leave this part for you to get the hang of it and that's it if you wanted to see this application grow more you can support me at buy me a coffee the link should be available below also please like and share this with your fellow thieves communities that pirates movies instead of buying them you can also follow me on my social media where I will be posting any updates about this free project and you can see a bunch of other mediocre stuff that I do Thank you for watching and go see, it's such a beautiful day, if you haven't. Goodbye.